Cheers. Cheers. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir. So they're all about the Yarra Valley. So we make these in a style that we think best represents what the valley should taste like. A mm -hmm. um, bit of a new age wine making technique for these two. So it sees 50% stainless steel fermentation and 50% old oak. Um, so you get a really lovely bit of cinnamon and clove from this wine. Um, nice fruit still from the stainless steel fermentation, that sort of crisp fruit at the front. And then it finishes off with a really lovely subtle oak finish. Um, so not a big bold oak Chardonnay, but just, just nice. Yep. Great Chardonnay for people who don't really like Chardonnay too much. Mm. I like it. Let's try. Are oh, you a Chardonnay person? Um, Ecstasy. So we sort of think that the Yarra Valley, you know, that's what that's all about. Yep. And then Alina is a Russian translation to Helen, you know, in honour of our owner Helen. So. Mm. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. And so entry level, mm. mid range, and then the premiums. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And those pourers are really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. So we've sold out of our Shiraz, unfortunately. That's hot. So That's this is thing. our cabinet, yeah. This is our Nara cabinet. Um, mm -hmm. Really lovely sweet spot on the front of the palette with this. Fleshes out really lovely and juicy. Get a bit of smokiness, a bit of green capsicum. And the green capsicum is just that little bit of unripeness. And the valley's known for that for their cabinet. It just doesn't ripen up quite enough. Mm -hmm. We do a bit of work in the vineyard, leaf picking, dropping bunches to open the canopy up just so it ripens up a little bit more. But you're always going to get that little bit of... Thank <laughs> 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 you. So this is our Alina Cabernet from 2016. So this is a more traditional style Cabernet. Um, sees 100% oak fermentation with about 20% new. Uh, you get a really lovely sort of blue fruits coming through from this, so mulberries and blueberries. On the nose straight away, you're gonna get that it's a bolder, more complex wine. Um, it feels really bold at the front of your palate. You get it that drying sort of tannin down the side of your palate, but then it becomes really elegant, sort of finishes off really velvety and smooth. Oh, you're gonna do a last one? Yeah. Um, yeah, There's enough I think we did have enough food though. Yeah, we had a plate too. So these are late harvest wines. Late harvest wines, the grapes hang on the vine for about two weeks longer than the other table wines. Uh, so they just ripen up a bit more and develop those sugars. The first one I'm showing is a Savion Semion blend. Um, so you get really lovely lemon drop flavour from this. It has a great acid backbone as well. So it works really well as an aperitif for before dinner. Um, goes really well with lemon meringue pie or lemon tart. Mm. Or blue cheese and figs is a really, really good match. That's a good this. one. Yeah. Nice and fresh, nice and crisp, not too sticky. Um, mm. Yeah, just nice and simple. It goes down pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> and 10% alcohol, so. You're not supposed to be that close, you know. Oh, <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you? Yeah, shit, Rexy going through the ship. Like, when is that? Um, so, this one has a little bit more sweetness. Uh, not, doesn't have the acid that the first one had. Uh, you get a little bit of strawberry from this as well. And this works really well with anything chocolate, so cool. any chocolate desserts. One of our staff made a chocolate orange cake, and cool. put holes oh. in the top of it, it was still warm, and drizzled this in. And it's so good, it's absolutely delicious. So. See that working? Yeah, it smells so good. Yep.